Hello Trustlinks, it's Jamie here and it's Wednesday so that means that today we're going to be discussing um, all things photography. Um, uh, we have a, um, a bit of a, uh, a wet play day today, the, the weather has turned for the worst so uh, the rain is falling so I'm indoors. Um, uh, today I'd like to do a bit of a and a session as well so if you've got any questions about um, photos, uh, photography, editing, all that kind of thing do do leave a comment down below i will answer it as as, as we i'll stop i'll pause and i'll uh, i'll uh, answer as many questions uh, that appear below um, i've got my projector set up behind me so um i'm going to discuss some of the photos i took i think it was about two weeks ago um yeah two weeks ago it was in shoebury um and it was one of those occasions where i found myself in the right place at the right time with the right camera which you know, which is always um, an amazing moment when uh, when when you've got something in front of you that's, that's that's really quite special. Like I say, I've got my projector set up behind me, so I do hope you can see it. Um, I, I, uh, good morning, Gareth. How are you? Um, uh, I've got my projector set up behind me, so I do hope you can see it. It's it's quite bright. Um, so I'm going to move the camera in this direction, and I do hope that you can you can clearly clearly see that, that that photo behind me um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit um, so this was a, a, a photo um, hello Marie how are you I hope you're all doing well um, so behind me I, I took a photo in uh, Shoebury uh, not far away from East Beach and um, as I was as I was doing my live session it was a pre-recorded session because I think I was doing some annual leave at the time um, I'm, I'm no videographer by any by any <laughs> any, any any means, but uh, um, as I was setting up, ready to just take some some land, some seascapes, um, there were there were four four people riding out on the on the the mud flats on their horses, and it was just it was just fantastic, and I got so excited about it. Um, so this is one of the I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I hope you can see that behind me. Let me just zoom in. So there, there you can see. And this was, they were probably, I'd say, uh, about half a mile out. Um, and I had, um, I had my, my digital SLR camera with me with a, with a 300 lens. Um, so it was, it was, it was a really, really, but, but even, even with that, um, even still the, the camera was having a, a, a kind of real struggle. Um, it, it, there was quite a lot going on in the, in the shot. And you can see four ladies here. Um, out on the out on the uh, out on the mud flats. Um, let me just zoom out a bit. And choose another choose another image. And once again, let me just zoom in on this. Um, there we go. You can see you can see there. There's uh, three people on horseback, and it was just I was I was very happy. I was very very happy with 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 that with that photo. Um, let me just zoom out. And then again, and I can use the arrow buttons to, to scroll left and right through my uh, uh, through my photos on my on my camera. And there, a bit of a darker, a bit of a darker image that one. And there, I, I like this this particular photograph because um, I don't know if you can see that clearly, but just just here, there's a, a seagull in the shot, which I, I quite like. I quite like that. Now, uh, so my, my plan today was was originally to go to Rochford to take some photos in the um, in Rochford Square, but um, I, I, the weather just got just got too bad, so I thought no, it's, it's, um, no, no, nobody wants to see me drenched in rain. I was trying to be um, <laughs> talking about pictures. Um, once again, this is that. Do you can see that? Very clearly, but there's two two ladies there, and um, and this this shot as well. You can see in this in this shot here. Let me just zoom in there. You can see in this shot here. Um, this is the, the the boom in Shoebury, and it was part of the uh, the World War Two um, coastal defences, and it goes out miles. I don't. I'm not entirely sure how long it is, but it does go out a fair old way. And um, just clean, go left and right. 
Okay. Grab that again. Um, this is just a um, shot of some um, iron railings, uh, iron oxide, bit of rust, bit of a rusty photo. And then once again, um, this is um, the the. In Shoebury, um, this is behind here, you can see the, the, the fast action gun, it's that big concrete, you know, um, brutal looking building in the distance. You can you can walk around, there is a footpath that takes you around the coast. Um, but all of this beach in the foreground here is still owned by the Ministry of Defence. Um, so it's not technically, well not at all, accessible by, by members of the general public. And there are all these like relics lying around the place and I, I do quite like that. I, I, you know, I like that sort of, that, that um, that feeling of the place that you get. Also, I've got to keep an eye on the comments. Like I say, I would like to, uh, if you have any questions as I go along, um, please do leave a comment in the comments box below, um, and I'll try to answer them uh, so we can get a bit of a bit of, bit of in, um, you know bit of interaction going on. That'd be that be uh, great. Um, this is a a shot here once again. This is the the fast action gun in the distant in the background here. I think this was pre World War Two. It was, it was an experimental um, uh, because the, the Shoebury East Beach was a was a kind of proving ground. It was um, uh, there were lots of experimental casemates. Uh, there was the fast action gun, which was experimental using a a, uh, a new type of hoist system to get the um, the ammunition up to the top where the guns were. Uh, in, in the distance here, you can see the Kent coastline, and this is these are the huge gas holders that, that hold all of our gas. And um, in the winter months, when, when gas demand is quite high, you can see steam rising up above. That's part of the process, I believe, that they use because they keep the they keep the gas contained within. Um, once again, this is just um, a shot of some brickwork. I like I like this kind of this kind of shot with with the, the focus being here, but you know your eye being drawn away to, to something on on the left that's out of focus. And the, the clock tower, to the old garrison, is just here uh, on the right-hand side. Um, and that was that was during sunset. At this time of year, the sun sets almost uh, um, uh, northwesterly, very very far to the north. Um, in October, the the sun sets just over the estuary, um, and you get some beautiful uh, sunsets. Uh, so that's that's my 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 little top tip if you if you, if you enjoy sunset for top, uh, taking pictures of sunsets. And there we go, <laughs> a, a beautiful sunset. Um, to the northwest, uh, you can just see the clock tower just here, just out, of, just out of focus, and the sun being, being uh, the, the the center point of the of the shot. And I love the I love the clouds here, um, all the colours, um, and the, the definition in the cloud as well is, is quite nice. It's quite beautiful, and I believe that's it for that particular that, those particular shots. Um, Taking photos, let me come back in a second everyone, I do apologise. Uh, taking taking photos, um, what do I take with me when I go, when I go for photographs, uh, when, I, when I go out on a, on a journey? Um, if it's a hot day, always bring wet weather gear with you, um, waterproof jacket probably, or, or a thick, a thick uh, jacket. Um, good boots, uh, not necessarily fancy trainers, but, but definitely um, a, a, a good, an old pair of trainers or a or a sturdy pair of boots. Um, take a camera bag with you if you're taking um, a fancy sort of SLR. But if you're using if you're using mobile phone, um, just make sure you keep your mobile phone nice and dry in, in, in bad weather conditions. Um, uh, food, food and snacks. Take those with you. Um, I know I appreciate during during this time. I mean, I I I, I mention those items um, main, mainly for from a point of view when when things are, are quite normal. But I appreciate things are far from normal at the moment, especially with travel restrictions and and uh, and you know the the, the 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 government advice at the moment, which is only to travel. I believe if it's only if it, if it's necessary, I think that still stands as the advice goes. So um, I d don't don't use public transport if you, if if you don't if you, you know. If, unless it's absolutely necessary but in the local area um two tree island probably one of my one of my um favorite spots to go there are a few bird hides down there i would like to do a live from two tree actually but it's uh, it's been kind of like on my radar of things to do but it as yet unfulfilled um what else would i would i recommend um let me just see if i can get maps up actually that might be helpful 
Charge drive. Guess the Google Maps. Then hopefully we can I can I can say these places whilst whilst pointing them out on the map. If I can get a satellite. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn you around there. And here you can see a, a map of South End. I don't think it's it's fully loaded at the moment. Hold that, there we go. It's, it's loaded. So I'm just gonna zoom out. So uh, this is South End. Where I took my photos was in Shoebury, just no, sorry, just here in in Shoebury. Uh, this is Gunners Park here, and this is the the coastline. It goes all the way beyond Shoebury and into the the, the inaccessible part that's still um, managed by the MOD. If you follow the coastline to the west uh, through Fort Bay, um, you'll end up at South End Seafront, where the, where the pier is. You can see the pier just 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 coming down here. Uh, if you follow the coast all the way down, um, this here is, um, I believe that's Chalkwell Station, Chalkwell Train Station just here. I don't know if you can see that very well. And if you keep following the coast, now you're kind of like approaching Old Lee, which is around about here somewhere. And um, let me just see if I can fix that a little bit, because I think that's out of focus. I think, I think that's a bit better. I think that's a bit better. Um, so if you follow the coastline all the way across, you end up in uh, Oldley, Oldley Fishing Village, and then if you follow the coastline beyond that, you end up at Lee Train Station, and this is where you, can, you begin to sort of enter the marshes. Um, the, 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 the Two Tree Island is, is just here, and if I zoom in to Two Tree, and then come this way a little bit, You can see this. 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 Uh, you can see this. Uh, Edie. You can see this. This green pool here, and there is a, a little bird hide just here. Um, and from that bird hide, you can you can get a good view of the um, of of this this sort of this pond. Uh, there are kingfishers that, that that do do visit this area as well. So um, it's very very good for. But, but then again, I would love to do that, but for a live. If I go there on any particular day, there may not be anything there at all. So it is, it is by chance that you'd, you'd come across something, um, a, a specific species of bird that you, you know, that, 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 that you're looking for, or something, something along those lines. So, so two trial is, is is really really good. There's also um, uh, there's there's a there's a, a model uh, model aircraft little runway here. Um, and I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if there's a tiny, a tiny little runway here for for model aircrafts to, to take off and land. So um, do do go do go on to two trial and it's obviously not not on a day like this, probably to be avoided. But um, uh, always good for, for for a trip down there. Uh, yes, uh, last week I was at Belfair's Woods, which is just to the north. Um, let me just zoom in a little bit. Belfair's Woods, which is just, just to the north here. I don't know if you can see that quite clearly. Um, where is London Road? I'm just orientate myself. Lon London Road is, is here. This is the London Road. So this, if you can see this line kind of going, going through. And Belfair's Woods is just slightly to the north with the golf course. Um, you can see the light of areas of green. They're the, they're the, they're the, uh, the, 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 the golf course. That's the golf course. And then um, Dodds Grove and the Nature Reserve is is back this way. It's it's this area here. And then um, the Prittlebrook, you can see, you should be able to see it. Let me just zoom in a little. Uh, it should be down here somewhere. Let me just zoom in a bit. Ah, there we go. Uh, that, this is this is the Prittlebrook here. It's the Prittlebrook Greenway, it's called, and it runs all the way through, all the way through the um, uh, Belfast Woods, and it continues its course up towards the the, the northwest. Where what where was I going to go today? That's that is the question. I was going to I was going to go to Rochford, so let's just go there now. 
um, Rochford, Prit uh, Rochford Square, I apologise, which is, um, which if I just zoom in, it should be here somewhere, no, oh that's the, oh I see, that's the, um, that's the train station, there, so square should be, Hmm, I thought it was around here, this area somewhere. Oh yeah, it is here. I do apologise. This was this was during a market day. That's what threw me off. I thought there were buildings. Um, this is this is Rochford Pritwell Square. There's some very old buildings here. Some of them um, uh, old stock brick, and uh, some of them are wood wood construction buildings. Um, and then if you go further on down, uh, down West Street in Rochford, there's some fantastic. There's some fantastic buildings just, just down here. Very, very photogenic. And there's, a, there's an older, um, larger building. Oh, sorry, let me just move my camera. There's an older, larger building just here, which is also really, really good for, for taking photographs. Um, but that, um, that is that is it. If, if, you, if, if there are anywhere, uh, uh, Canvey Island is also, Canvey Island is also on my, uh, on my radar of places to visit and, and things to do. So we'll be going down to, to Canvey. Um, at some stage um, is if there is any way you'd like me any way you'd like me to to go and take photos of if there's anything you can think of do do let me know um, it would be great to have some uh, you know some some um, uh, personal recommendations that you've got of, of places that you find quite quite special uh, I'd love to go and I'd love to go and take photos of those too um, but uh, th that's it for today I'm afraid trust links um, not much else to say really I'd love to be going out I'd love to be visiting different places um, but today's a bit of a washout so uh, I, I, I'm, I, I hope you accept my apologies for such a short program today and um, I, I do look forward to, to, to getting out to to to, um, to visiting all of the all that Southend has to offer um, take care though do stay safe and um, I, I look forward to, to speaking to you uh, speaking with you another time um, thank you very much, Trust. Thanks. Bye-bye.